Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Sony QX1. This is a smartphone attachable camera that allows you to take really great photos with your smartphone. It's actually been out for a little while, and I've had this device for a little while. I've just, uh, I used it a lot when I first got it, and then I kind of took a break from using it, and now I'm playing with it again, um, just because uh, I've, I've wanted to take better photos with my smartphone instead of having to carry around a bunch of cameras. So um, let me break down what this is. Let me take the pieces off of it that I have attached to it right now and show you exactly what this camera is. Um, this little piece right here is the camera body itself. It actually, um, is just like a digital camera, like a DSLR camera. As you can see, it accepts lenses. I have a different lens here that I can attach to it and uh, basically make this camera just as good as a camera that I would use, um, a DSLR that I would use to shoot weddings or any other event with that I shoot with. So what's really cool about this is that it is able to be attached to your phone. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what that is like. I'm gonna rotate this around. I'm gonna open up the little feet here that clamp onto your phone. So we'll go ahead and put this, this case is a little large for this phone. So let's go with uh, this phone over here. This is the um, LG G4, which has a pretty decent camera on its own, but uh, attached to the Sony camera, it will take fantastic photos. I also have the little um, kind of articulating, the little angle here uh, that allows you to rotate your device. Um, uh, you know, you can rotate this around and get better angles, which is really hard without this because um, without this angle here, your phone is attached right to the lens. Now you don't have to use it attached to the lens. You can actually hold the phone out to the side um, and use it separately and then just hold the camera or mount the camera somewhere. It has a quarter 20 mount on the bottom of it. So you can mount it to a tripod or you know selfie stick or anything fun like that. Um, so let me show you how this works. I have it paired to my phone, my iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this little guy up. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And uh, on the iPhone, you actually have to go into your Wi-Fi settings and then switch to the camera. On um, Android phones, you can actually use NFC and just tap your device right to the little NFC logo on the camera and it's gonna go ahead and connect. You also need the Sony Play Memories app that comes uh, uh, as a free download. So uh, what we're looking at here is basically the preview screen on this camera. So I can hold this right out in front of me um, and we can see exactly what it is that I see, um, which is pretty neat. So live preview. This camera has some manual settings. Uh, you can shoot it in full audio or you can go into a semi-manual setting where you can choose aperture priority or shutter priority. This allows you to kind of um, tell the camera how you want it to perform as opposed to letting it do that automatically. However, automatic does pretty good as well. So um, let's actually take a break from me talking and I'm gonna show you some photos that I've captured with this little camera. Then we'll be right back. All right, so there are some accessories that you can get for this camera. Um, obviously, uh, it works really well just as is out of the box. But like I said, this kind of angle bracket here makes it really easy for you to attach uh, a, a, a device to it and then put it in an angle and take pictures and be able to see. Uh, similar to an articulating screen that you would have on most cameras that come out these days, point and shoot cameras, even DSLRs these days have a screen that you can adjust to make it easier to see. 
Now, maybe you're not always using this device attached to your phone. You wanna be able to hold it. There's also this little nub here that you attach to the back of it. And then it becomes a camera that you can hold um, in between your fingers like this. Uh, maybe if you you know take go on vacation, you take a lot of selfie photos with you and someone else or even just yourself, uh, it goes between your fingers really nicely. Or you can hold it like this and take pictures uh, and then just hold your camera and kind of, um, you know, frame up your shot. That does make it kind of challenging to do it that way, to be kind of phone in one hand, camera in the other, but it's really neat. I was at a conference once kind of sitting in chair, uh, you know, don't want to be standing up and taking photos all the time. I would simply raise this up, take a picture and bring it back down. And it was just a really neat experience to be able to do that. One of the other cool things about this particular one is its built-in flash. So it has a built-in pop-up flash like this, which is great. The, pre, the uh, lower end versions of this particular lens don't have such a cool flash like this does. So when you need flash, you can go and take a picture, um, use this flash. You can also kind of angle it. I've used this to kind of bounce flash off the ceiling instead, um, which made for less harsh flash on somebody's face. Um, so definitely really neat feature. You have your shutter button over here on the side. So even if you are just using your phone as a viewfinder, um, you can hold down this button, take a picture, and it captures a picture. This thing operates just like a standalone camera. It just uses your phone for a screen. And then of course, using the Sony Play Memories app, you have the ability to customize uh, the settings and even take pictures from the phone itself. So if you had this set up on a tripod or something like that, you could actually remotely trigger your uh, QX1 from your phone without even touching the QX1. Pretty stinking cool. So being able to change out lenses obviously is a major uh, benefit of this particular um, camera model. If you already shoot Sony and have E-mount lenses, then this is a great addition. If you are new to Sony and you don't have any E-mount lenses or anything like that, you are probably going to need to purchase some, which that's when this becomes kind of an expensive setup, buying E-mount lenses for this. Um, so if you, if you shoot with Sony mirrorless cameras um, and you already have E-mount lenses, this is just a great addition. Now, there are also other versions of this particular attachable lens camera, uh, the QX30, QX10, and QX100, I believe. Um, a couple of different models that have self-contained lenses. They're all contained. It's not a uh, SLR style uh, mount like this where you can change out your lenses. That's a, a little bit better for on the go. Um, they aren't as good in low light. And of course the zoom and everything, you, you lose a little bit of quality because of um, uh, the quality of the lens. With this, the quality of your photo is gonna de de depend on what lens you're able to attach to it. Right now I have the Zeiss uh, 2.8 um, 12 millimeter lens on this camera. Now, this is not a full frame sensor like uh, some of the new mirrorless cameras by Sony. It is a crop sensor, which means that this 12 millimeter is probably around 22, 23 millimeters is, uh, on that crop sensor. However, this lens is just gorgeous and produces fantastic photos. So. Lots of cool things that you can do here. Obviously, when you take a picture, it transfers that photo right to your phone, and there are settings to customize that for the image quality and the size of the image and all of that stuff. Um, what's neat about that is actually being able to uh, have nice quality photos sent directly to your smartphone so that you can share them on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you wanna share photos. It also shoots video in full HD, which is fantastic. So that's where this is a benefit to me. It's uh, all the functionality that I, I have grown to love in a DSLR camera or a mirrorless um, DSLR style camera, uh, but I'm able to actually use that in a smartphone um, and take all those pictures and great video clips and still just carry a smartphone with me. So this obviously is a lot smaller than having to carry a DSLR and multiple lenses and a flash and all that stuff. So um, so it's, it's a neat tool and uh, it's definitely been a lot of fun to have. It has a small digital readout here. It also takes a micro SD card so you can fit 
you know, 64, soon 128 gigabytes of storage in it and just take countless photos. It stores the photo on both the lens and your phone so you have the full quality image on your lens, uh, on your detachable lens or attachable lens. Um, and you can just pull that card out or plug it in uh, using the plug right here. It takes a standard battery that you would uh, use with the mirrorless cameras, which was great because I have a ton of those batteries, but you can also charge it through this USB port as well, micro USB, uh, which means the car charger that I use for my Android phones plugs right in, can charge it as I'm driving. Very, very cool. So lots of neat things to say about this lens. I'm not gonna get too much more into detail as far as the specs and all of that stuff goes. Um, it's just, it's a good responsive lens. It works well uh, and you get great photos and video clips out of it. And then they go straight to your smartphone without doing any additional work. That's the payoff right there for me is the instant transfer of your content right over to your smartphone. So if you're looking for something uh, to take your smartphone photography to the next level, uh, this is definitely it, the uh, Sony QX1. Also in the description below the video are links to a uh, review that I did on the Sony QX30, uh, which is, as I mentioned before, similar type of lens, but with a built-in, uh, or similar type of attachable camera, but with a built-in lens. Um, definitely neat. I'll also link to these lenses that I showed you in the description below so that you can kind of get an idea of what all is entailed in going this route. So um, works on iPhone, Android. Um, the app is available. You can download that for free in the Play, Play Store or uh, in the App Store. And then all you need is one of these cool little cameras uh, and you can start snapping away. So thanks for checking out this video. We'll see you next time on State of Tech.